No, no gold though today, guys. We have not even seen or been graced by the presence of gold. What the fuck? That moment was right Skin sanity. Skin insanity. Today I'm going to be talking about that. So a lot of you at this point are pretty aware on what the skin insanity is. I've referenced it in many videos prior to this one. In short, the skin insanity is basically a disease. No one knows whether it's airborne, bloodborne, or something the government put in the water. The skin insanity itself manifests in individuals by giving them an unquenchable thirst to obtain every single skin in the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Each individual tries to obtain the skins in their own unique way. Some will steal their dad's credit card and attempt to gamble all of his earnings to get more CSGO skins and further feeding the insanity. While other individuals purposely overreact on a Twitch stream in an attempt to get the money back, they lost betting on the skins. And to the few individuals that have no means to feed the skin insanity, they devolve into something we like to call Stomedy. Guess who it is? Guess again. Wrong! It's Stomedy! So before we delve into the skin insanity, we need to talk about the origins of the skin insanity. Where did it come from? What is this worldwide phenomenon that has caused so many retards to scream at their computer monitor when they get a knife made of fucking pixels? The skin insanity itself, of course, originates from gaming companies, and the YouTube legend Silver Mania actually got an interview with Gabe Newell. If any of you don't know who Silver Mania are, I, I think they insulted Total Biscuit on a stream, and that's, I, 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 is, I think that's all they're known for. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, fine. Greetings. All right, Mr. Newell, I got some questions for you. Call me Gabe. Okay, thanks. All right, first question. What do you think of the current state of the gaming industry? It sucks. Do you care to elaborate? Eh, uh, not really. Now for Gabe Newell, one of the most influential people in gaming as a whole, to say that gaming has pretty much gone to shit, that shows that something is really, really wrong. You see, gaming seems to have reached a point where Game developers have stopped making games, and now they're more interested in funding current games that they've already made. A perfect example is, unfortunately, again, Valve. I was just about to take the piss out of Blizzard, but they just released Overwatch, so they get a pass for now. Even though I do have to admit, every single Blizzard employee is totally 100% brain dead for allowing loot boxes into a fully priced $60 game, I, I, I love Roadhog, so they, they get a pass. The problem is with Valve, they've actually made a string of incredibly successful games, take Dota or Left 4 Dead, just to name a few. And the problem is, now that they're sitting on billions and billions of dollars, they've got incredibly fucking lazy. Instead of developing new IPs or continuing new game franchises, they just develop more into games that are already existing, and this doesn't sound bad by no extent, but they seem to be developing their current games in a really negative way. Like, for example, the recent trend in cosmetic items. Items that give you no fucking benefit to the game whatsoever, but they look so shiny. Oh. These cosmetic items are probably making companies more fucking money than if they released a new IP anyway. The actual community backing these skins is absolutely amazing, and I'm gonna focus mainly on Counter-Strike for the time being, but obviously there are many other games that have cosmetic items that give you no gameplay advantage whatsoever, but they just look sh- Now the main problem with cosmetic items is the community, and the thing is with Valve and other companies, they're gonna keep making this cosmetic bullshit that makes them probably millions of dollars turnover each year if you keep giving them your money. Now by no means am I saying that every single person watching this video would steal their parents' credit card and put it all on CSGO Rumble just so they can get that stat track fade fedora, but what I am saying is, no matter how little you put into the machine, you're still keeping it fueled to some extent. Now we've addressed the origins of the skin insanity, I think it's time to talk about part two, the people that promote it. Ooh. 
Now, when I mean a promoter of the skin insanity, I mean an individual that is plagued with the disease and all its symptoms. And this individual, of course, craves the skins of CSGO, and instead of keeping it to themselves in their room and simply using their dad's credit card or some money they got from working at a pizzeria, the individual instead chooses to broadcast their misfortune on various streaming websites, such as Twitch, where they unbox a bunch of shitty CSGO cases, and one in a million chance they actually get a decent drop, they overreact to total shit like a baboon just climbed up their asshole. <laughs> Now the majority of you watching this video probably believe that these gentlemen in this video are absolute brain dead retards. And when they get past the third letter in the alphabet, they're rewarded with some alphabet spaghetti which they proceed to eat with their elbows. But even though these people look like their synapses are totally defunct, they are in fact the most clever, sneaky, crafty bastards probably to ever exist on the internet. Because all of these streamers have worked out an incredibly basic but valuable formula. Reaction equals exposure times price. It. So the more of a bombastic and explosive reaction any of these guys give to opening a case or anything in any type of video game, the more chance that more viewers will stumble onto their stream, the more it will blow up, therefore getting them more profit in the long run. Now forgive me for not being a psychologist, but I'm pretty sure every single individual who has opened a case live on stream has had some kind of purpose overreaction in an attempt to hype up the situation more. Because all of these individuals know that if they give a bigger reaction, they will get more profit in the long run. It's basically an endless cycle of investment. They buy cases, they react, you watch their reaction, they get money. It's a perfect cycle that's been going on for ages and people complain about it, but it's gonna keep happening and probably never stop as long as people give in to the skin insanity. The worst thing is this business model pretty much originated from mobile gaming, like for example Clash of Clans. You could build stuff or complete objectives and they would take fucking ages, days sometimes and you could skip it with what we like to call a freemium currency, a currency that's in the game but not really obtainable unless you use real world money. Of course you could grind it but you'd probably have three generations of children by the time you got enough to get the amount that you need, hence why spending money on a free game looks so lucrative. This is exactly why game developers don't feel the need to develop new games. This is why they like to stick to what they're doing, taking money through these game transactions through these freemium currencies, skins. Even though these companies are not releasing games anymore, they are still having massive profit turnovers from the amount of people giving into the skin insanity. And to the people that think the skin insanity hasn't jumped to the opposite sex yet, take a look at this clip. Unfortunately, we're going to all have to come to the conclusion that the skin insanity is here to stay. Its roots have gotten too deep in the gaming community to uproot at this time, and CSGO is just a small case in a variety of games that have also developed the skin insanity. CSGO is just one in a million of different games that have developed their own skin insanity. So if the skin insanity can't be fully eradicated, the next best thing is to control it. These huge corporations want you to spend all your parents' credit card money. They want you to make that extra gamble. They want you to lose. They want you to win because no matter what happens, they get some kind of profit from whatever action you've taken. Now, by no means am I saying to stop gambling and no means am I saying to stop watching your favorite Twitch streamer, but you need to learn about self-control. You need to train yourself and know when you need to stop, when you need to put the card down and stop betting everything you have in your hand because eventually you won't have anything left and at that point you would have gone so insane you would have started rolling up cardboard and smoking it in an attempt to make enough YouTube revenue so you can start betting once more. <laughs> the very worst thing you can do is see someone on Twitch gamble a bunch of money to get a CSGO skin or some kind of jackpot and they win and it's glamorized to you. It looks like you can win and it's incredibly easy to do. You, the everyman, can win and you can win big, but they know that they will profit no matter what from the revenue they're getting, the possible sponsorships that they're involved and the viewers watching and donating. And chances are you don't have anything like that. You're just going in blind and chances are you're gonna lose quite a lot of money before you see any form 
of profit. If you really want that new camo or that new skin, just fucking buy it. Go on the Steam page and go and buy it yourself. If you really want to bet, then go for it. But it's not worth it except for the adrenaline rush. And once the adrenaline rush is gone, you're just left with the regret knowing that there are funds from your bank account that are missing. At the end of the day, do what you want, spend your own money, just have some self-control or you could end up like Starmody. I hope you enjoyed that video, I did feel it went a bit serious near the end, but that's honestly just my opinion on the gaming industry and gambling on video games as a whole. Also, you should go check out the guy I'm featuring right now, Crobe Cat. I used some of his footage in my video today and he makes absolutely amazing content. He doesn't do any commentary or voiceovers, he simply takes other people's footage and uses that in his own video, but sounds simply enough, he crafts fucking masterpieces with them, so be sure to check him out and give him a sub. Uh, that will probably lower the chances of him copyright striking my video. And again, just to repeat myself, I have nothing wrong with gambling or I guess any form of interaction with betting or losing or high stakes, but you do need to learn self-control, something that these mega companies are not telling you about. They want you to spend every single penny you've got. I hope the majority of you that watched this video took it in a more serious light. I mean, I did throw a few memes in there, but it was honestly a more serious theme video, if anything, because I've had a lot of people I know that have basically got the skin insanity and it's really ruin their life because of it. Thanks again for watching guys, and new memes will resume tomorrow. Surely you understand, it'll never be enough. You have to ask yourself, when you finally get the ultimate promotion, when you've made the ultimate purchase, and climbed the ladder of success to the highest rung you can possibly climb it, and the thrill wears off, and it will wear off, then what? How far do you have to walk down that road before you see where it leads? None of it was really yours.